Creating an e-commerce website with WordPress can be easy for some, but if you're just starting out, anything can be a bit challenging. Join me in this video and I'm going to show you how you can create an online store with WordPress and WooCommerce in under 10 minutes. There's something a little different about this video and that is that we're going to make use of a demo template or rather demo content and I don't exactly mean actual page templates for WordPress. I mean something similar to opening a document in MS Word and using a template to give you a baseline to build your document from. The best way to learn is by example. So the theme that we're using today is some demo content which we will import that will give you a great full house template to start from. All you need to do is replace the written content, images, logos, details, credentials and you'll be ready to start creating your products and then start selling. I'm going to show you how to install the theme we'll be using, install the plugins and the demo content and by the time you're done with part 1, you'll have a workable WordPress WooCommerce store. If you have a bit of WordPress know-how, you'll easily be able to customize the look, feel and functions like installing your payment gateway or simply activate the ones like PayPal that is provided by WooCommerce by default. If you don't know WordPress that well or at all, don't worry, in our next video we'll show you how to do this step by step and by the time we're done you'll look in awe of how easy this was. Before we continue I'm assuming you already have a working hosting account, domain and a WordPress installation. If not, check out our video on how to install WordPress. If you're ready and you can access your WordPress dashboard, let's jump in. Okay, so from your dashboard, select Appearance, Themes, and then Add New. From Search Themes, we'll type in New Store. And then we'll select the first one in the list and click Install. and then activate. Next we'll begin installing plugins. You'll see a notification at the top saying begin installing plugins. Select all and click install and apply. Okay, next we'll go to return to required plugins installer and you'll see that we can activate all of these plugins simultaneously by selecting all. However, I recommend that we head to plugins, click installed plugins and activate them individually from here. So we'll start with contact form 7. When you see a notification after activating Elementor, head back to Plugins, Installed Plugins. I left WooCommerce to last, so that can take us directly to the WooCommerce wizard. Then on the first page, we can edit our address details. Next we can select which industry applies to our store, in this case it will be fashion, apparel and accessories. And continue. Next it will ask us which products will be listed, will it be physical products or downloadable products, in this case it will be physical products. And how many products do you plan to display, I'm going to select 11 to 100. And am I currently selling elsewhere? I'm going to select no. And you'll see three separate plugins. 
show up at the bottom. I'm going to deselect these for now and we'll run through them in a later tutorial. And we'll select continue. And then in theme, we'll go ahead and continue with my active theme. Then I'm going to prompt you to install Jetpack. We're just going to select no thanks. And you'll see a welcome notification from WooCommerce. Let's just go ahead and close that. Okay, next up we're going to install our demo content for our theme. So head over to Appearance and select Import Demo Data. We can select the demo import. I'm going to select demo 2. And select Yes Import. This import should take about 5 to 10 minutes. So just leave it, go have a coffee and I'll see you soon. And that's it, we're done. So you may see an error at the bottom of the screen. Don't pay too much attention to that. Everything should be fine. I've gotten this error a few times. Um, I have gone into the log file, but there's nothing, nothing out of place. All the content should be there and should work just fine. And we're just gonna visit the front page of the site so you can see what it looks like. And that should be it for this video. And that is it for part one on creating an e-commerce store absolutely free with WordPress and WooCommerce. Join us in part two where I'll be showing you how we can customize content, add products, your logo, and from an aesthetic point of view, finish off for part three where we'll finalize our store. Thanks for watching and see you soon.